Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. And today, I want to talk about professional creative leadership habits and how they can make you a more impactful leader on a more consistent basis. Sometimes people wonder, what do professional habits look like and why are they important? Well, in another video, I'll talk about the importance of habits, but I'm going to take it a step further. And for that, I'm quoting Stephen Pressfield, writer of such books as The War of Art and Gates of Fire, when he says, somebody that's a professional is built on professional habits. I'm going to take it a step further and say creatives, leaders, especially creative leaders, are built on professional creative leadership habits. And these are the things that are going to make sure that not only are you performing on a consistent basis as a professional, but you're doing it in such a way where you're taking enough risk and showing enough vulnerability to inspire those around you. What are some of my professional creative leadership habits? Well, a few of my professional creative leadership habits include a prioritization exercise where I take 10 minutes every evening and prioritize the general themes of the next day. There's the gratitude exercise where I make myself write a thank you note to somebody on my team. And then there's also the coffee and lunch exercise where I have to invite somebody on my team to coffee and lunch before I leave the day before. Either that or I have to go invite somebody in my circle for coffee or lunch. All of these things are habits that scare me because you don't want to be wrong. You, you don't want to be rejected. And they're creative because I have to think on my feet about what people have done or where do you want to go or what do you want to talk about. But as I do these on a daily basis, they allow me the energy to try these new things while engaging some of the risk and fear that can stop me. Fear is the anti-muscle. The more you work on it, the less effective it becomes. Why should you try these? Well, if you're the type of person that was an individual contributor and you're trying to figure out why or how you can bring those skills to the team that you're leading now, well, professional creative leadership habits can make you more impactful on a consistent basis. Why should you feel comfortable throwing these away if they don't work? You should be comfortable throwing these away because professional creative leadership habits are relative. Even the ones I gave you before in this video may not work. They're based on the work that you do and your personal levels of risk and vulnerability. If you're working at a bank, sometimes being a little more risky can lose your job. But if you're working at some weird startup, being uh, pensive could also make you lose your job because you might have the company get sunk, right? These things are all about the context you're in. But they all should follow through on making you a little scared based on your vulnerability, so that's internal fear, and the risk, that's external fear. How do you look at this through the lens of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness. You have to recognize that all three of those things, professionalism, creativity, and leadership, they're all things that leave you vulnerable and full of risk, and in fact, are just plain scary. They're not normal behavior, and they're not gonna be the things you reach for unless you've built the habits that can sustain them. How do you execute on these? Well, to execute on professional creative leadership habits, a good thing to do is to look at some of the greats in your field and try to pull what are the things that they do on a daily basis. Now, a lot of these are going to be noise just based on the fact that there's so many greats in everyone's field and all of the context is different. But that's okay. What you're looking for are things, just inspirational things, that can help you figure out what makes you a little nervous in your field? What makes you feel a little vulnerable? What's a little risky? What's something that you can take on every day that makes you feel a little guilty you're putting on your calendar for a very short amount of time? When you feel that and you start to see the effects after a week or two, you're on the right track. 
direction. After you've found some of these habits, you gotta wanna check to see if they're worth it in the long run. Go look at the heroes that you pull from, or the top five in your region, or the top five in your profession, or whatever that is, and try to find out what were some of the after effects of those habits. Sometimes things can make be a little risky and be decent creative habits for yourself, but you can end up in a big pool of trouble if they don't jive with the rest of your life. So you have to make sure that directionally they align with your goals and the after effects don't trouble you too much. So let's wrap this up. Self-awareness. You need to be aware that being a professional creative leader is different. And different is difficult. Two, you need to execute on finding some of the best in your field and just finding things that you can do for a short amount of time on a consistent basis that's a little scary. And then execute on them. And three, you need to make sure that these things aren't crazy. They don't have crazy side effects. It might be a little scary for me to do cocaine, but that don't mean I need to do it. Remember, these are habits that can help you grow as a professional to help you lead with creativity and your imagination. Remember, habits stack and they go exponentially rather than diagonally. In the description box, you'll find a bunch of books that talk about the research, some exercises, and a lot more deep dive information that I can't get to in this video. They've helped me clear my thinking out on this topic and helped me start a conversation with you. Check them out. This isn't a one-way conversation, nor is it a two-way conversation. Your thoughts on this topic are very important, especially when it comes to habits, because we all have different habits and we all have different points of view to where we're going. This is a tribe of leaders in the Life is Usual community. And for us to get the most out of the knowledge of each other, we have to talk. So spend some time, get in the comment section, and mix it up with the rest of us. We're waiting on you.